In this lecture, let us talk about how to execute Python program. In the previous video, I talked about how to install Python by several options. So these options can be shown on the screen. There are different options than you can do with the help of Python command. First option is Python command window. This is the option that I have to talk about in this video. This is the window by default given by the Python when you open it for the first time. This is called command shell. This is basically shell program to execute simple program. If you want to build some big project, then we will go to the file system. This is the Python command line window. You perform some basic tasks. Let me write my first code. If you, I want to write print hello world, I have to write. Just give me print statement. Print hello world. This do some basic calculation like 3 plus 5. You can understand this is the basic command line prompt. You can use to do some basic Python stuff. At this point of time, you can do some basic Python coding. The second thing is Python IDLEs, they have provided a graphic window, which is quite easy and defined colors and simple GUI interface. As a programmer or the developer, you will be hated this GUI type interface. If you want to professional engineer or professional developer, you have to start with the help of IDE, which is called integrated development environment. Let me open some program. This is the Python shell that we have typed the previous command window. I can perform the same step with the help of writing these steps. Print hello world, type it out. You can see the color difference. This is the important thing that you want to keep in mind. IDE make our life easier. They define the simple instruction in different colors. If you write print again and you can see that there are the several options regarding my values, regarding separation and all the things that I will be talking about in new lectures. At this point, you have to understand what is IDE and how to write some line of code. You can write hello world, again some like hello only, hello student. You can clearly define different things. And you can perform different tasks in this IDE. Next task is directed from system prompt. In the window, you have the window prompt or Mac, you have the terminal. All I have to do is see a write CMD. And it will open my command prompt and it has been opened. This is the shell mode of python. You can also see the python version. If you want to exit from python shell, you can exit anytime. If you want to save this task or kill this task, that is your choice. That will also do the same steps. So these are some basic methods that you can do with this help of python. The first is the python command line window and the second is python IDE which is the very important for the programmer. And number three is GUI for python. And the next thing is the python file which is a, have the extension of .py. So I am show you in my own screen. There is no code in my notepad. If you want to run some script file of Python, at that point of time, you can use this instruction. So this is the basic code that I have written. I will save it as a .py. Let me save it somewhere. So now I just created my .py file. And this is the first .py file. And this will print something. If I want to run this particular thing, I can only do it by my system prompt. The user can use their terminal. So open the terminal that is your command prompt or the desktop. You can use the control shift and the right click, click on the open command window here. And you can see here, my window open here and my desktop show here. And these are the Python or the file name. And the first one is the .py and the click enter. So here you can see, I have the text which is the .py file opening. This is how you can run your Python files. So now, I hope you understand this first project of how to write your first command of hello world. And the last important thing is that, that is online shell. The shell is very important thing to solve any problem if you are into the competition online. This shell work is exactly the same like you are working on offline on your desktop. The only difference is, you will not create file or uh, there are the certain library which are already installed on this online server. Let me print this is the online shell and print the command. You see that's working fine and it's work like my desktop shell. I think you really grasp the how to execute the command shell from both online or offline. And I hope you know how to print hello world. So you can use the open parenthesis or the open quotation or just write print and you can insert some symbol then you can print some python shell these are the tasks that you have to perform now and i hope you really enjoy this video in the next video i will talk more about python i hope you really enjoy this video if you enjoy this video then don't
forget to like comment and share this video and also subscribe my youtube channel get excitement i will see you guys in my next video